guys so today we're gonna be doing a full face of liquid makeup so if you know me or if you've been following me I have combo to oily skin meaning I get oily throughout the day and I have dry patches occasionally um, my skin's really finicky and I pretty much always set my foundation today we are not doing that I come I came up with this look right here it's a little bit like all over the place like I might not even it might not even match really um but yeah let's just let's just get right into it um just one 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 quick announcement uh subscribe Sub subscribe okay all right let's just jump in mm. the first thing i'm going to do is moisturize because my face is dry right now so i have the box in front of me um of everything i'm going to use so let me just take that out real quick Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Rose Ceramide Cream by Pixie. As you can see, this is almost out. Um, I have a backup <laughs> because it's really, really good. If you haven't tried this yet, like you, you literally, you need to go get it. Um, it's twenty four dollars, which is a little bit pricey. Like, and it's at Target, so I guess Pixie's kind of considered a drugstore brand, but um, it's twenty four dollars. However, I think it's really, really good. You know, I, I try not to tell, like, I try not to recommend expensive things that I wouldn't feel comfortable buying myself. Um, so, I really highly recommend that you go try this out. Okay, next, I'm going to go in with the, the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So, it looks like that. This is kind of old. Like, I believe I got this at the, um, at a 21 Days of Beauty sale, like, a while ago. But I've actually been using it. Um, I don't know if you saw my post on Instagram, but I'm trying to like make sure I'm trying to basically try all of my primers and declutter ones that I don't use. So, um, I've been using this kind of a lot lately and I fell back in love, even though I have kind of oily to combo or combo to oily skin. I, uh, I still really, really like this. I don't know. This gives like a nice glow and it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't make me oily. I'm going to go in with the one heck of a blot primer. Um, I recently picked this out of my stash as well. I will link the video I featured it in, in, in the card. But basically I think this is just, I think a good pore filling primer. Um, it's supposed to be like a mattifying primer as well, but I don't really, I don't really see that purpose. I'm going to mix together two foundations. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi and the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I'm using these, I'm trying to use these up because I'm really trying to be conscientious of when I buy cruelty free. These are a little older, um, but I'm really, really trying. Like if I know a brand's not cruelty free, like I really don't want to purchase from them. So I'm trying to use the products that I have in my stash that are not cruelty free up. Oh, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender, mix these two back of my hands. The reason I chose, I also chose the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, because, did I forget a step? No. Okay. Because um, uh, it's matte, it's really, really matte. And since I'm not going to be setting my face at all, I really wanted something that you know, may make me a little bit more matte. Um, this like challenge is not the best for me because I really, really hate not setting my face. And then we're going to put on some highlighter. Now I have a couple of options for highlighter and I feel like since I'm going to probably take this makeup off, I feel like I want to use this. So this is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. It's the shade, um, Halo? Halo? Halo. Halo. Yeah. H-A-L-O. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going to give these a good shake. So I don't even think I've ever put these like on my face. My other option is the Temp2 and BoxyCharm uh, Liquid Glow Highlighter. I really, really like this. It's like half gone. And then I also have this incredible You Glow Girl. It's kind of like a putty. It's not really liquid. So I feel like that's kind of cheating. But maybe I'll put this on my eyes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with this. And I don't even know if these are like still good.
Where's my, oh, I forgot my, I don't know where my beauty blender went. Oh my gosh. Wow. I really, I don't think I've put this on my face. I feel like I should have put it on before my foundation so it was a little bit like less intense maybe. Okay, now that I blended it out, it's not as like crazy. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's do the other side. Oh my God. Okay, so that got like all the way down my face. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Okay. I still have to do concealer. So. Um. And if I had like, if I was using this in real life, I mean not like, I am using it in real life, but I mean like, I'm probably going to take all this makeup off right after this. So. I mean, if I was like using this like on a daily basis, I would be able to set it. And so it wouldn't be that bad. Why do I film my videos with, and I never put my hair up? Hold on. Alrighty, well, um, so that is that. This foundation is a little bit dark. Oh, I can't use that down my neck anymore because I got highlighter all over it. Alright, um, what do I have, what else do I have to do? Blush. So I don't have a liquid, um, like, bronzer. So I'm just going to go straight into blush. And this is the um, Flower Beauty Blush Balm. And it's in the shade Pinched. So I'm just going to take that on my finger. And now that I'm thinking about it, this highlighter does not match this blush at all. <clears throat> so here we go. Oh yeah, that's very, um, they don't match. <laughs> oh, kind of blended into nothing, didn't it? I've only used this like a couple times. I'm going to put some more on. It's pretty. It's just like kind of blended away. I'm going to put some like on my nose and up here a little bit. Um, for some warmth because I don't have a bronzer. Oh my god. It looks crazy. This will be... I'm really excited for this summer. Um, makeup wise because I feel like this will be so nice in the summer but yeah that's pretty warm right I feel like that bronzed up my forehead really um, a lot god I wish I could set my face right now I feel like it also kind of took down the highlighter so it's more wearable now you know now we're gonna go into the eyes and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. So these are pretty new. I have about four shades. And then I also have this um, Appeal Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow that I, we got in BoxyCharm last month. So I might try that. Maybe as like a liner or something. I'm going to go in with um, this guy. And this is in the shade Sand Castles. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And it's kind of just like a neutral, like a, I don't know if it's neutral, but I'm going to say it's neutral. Neutral-ish brown. Oh, I just got it in my eye. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So that was, um, intense. I hope I'm not, like, next episode I'll be blind in one eye. Alright, I need the specific brush. So I really like to use my Sigma E25 brush uh, for cream shadows because it's really densely packed. I just feel like it blends it out really well. I might have put too much on. Because this is looking a little cray cray. Um, so we're just going to go over here into the infected eye. And go all over. I've only used these shadows a couple of times. So I'm not really... I don't really have like a full opinion on them. So to speak. Alright. I guess we're doing like a really far up look because it kind of went everywhere. I'm also going to bring that under just because I have so much product. Now, I watch um, Raw Beauty Christy and she doesn't set her foundation usually but she also has drier skin. But she said something one time where um, I thought that it was like a really good point. So, she said that when she doesn't set her makeup she like, if it gets messed up during the day or like she needs to retouch it's a lot easier because there's not like powder on top and she can just like 
add a little bit of foundation if she needs to or like just take a brush and like blend everything back out and I was like I kind of thought wow that's like a great point you know um because right now I just like went like this and I felt like I was easily able to kind of soften that blend because my face isn't set you know just like something to think about I'm gonna try the Appeal Cosmetics one just because I really want to test it and I just don't wear liquid eyeshadows all that often. So I'm gonna test this bad boy out. This is just in the shade gold. Um, and I don't know what the applicator looks like. Oh, it's like a wand. Like it's like a brush tip. Um, hopefully that's focusing because I can't see if it is. Okay, so we're just gonna go... Oh. I'm kind of liking how my face looks, even though, like, it's wet. So I'm hoping this doesn't ruin everything. Like, I probably would never pair, I would, I would not pair this highlighter with this eye. Okay, so it's really easy to apply with this, like, brush situation. Oh, it smells like chemicals. It smells very strongly of chemicals. Um, this is eyeshadow, right? Yeah, it's a liquid eyeshadow. Okay. I don't know. I just had like a moment of like, oh, am I putting like lip gloss on my eye? This isn't very like opaque. Hold on. I'm going to zoom you in real quick. It's not like covering the spots very well. Like it's, um, if I go over it, it kind of takes away the coverage. So it's not like going on and it's not fully opaque with one stroke. If you know what I mean. Like, it kind of looks like it's very... Yeah, I'm not feeling this, is my point. Hmm. I'm going to try and blend it a little bit and see if that helps. But, yeah, I'm not... I don't know if I'm feeling this right now. Shoot. Alright, let's take... I'm going to take this flat top brush. I, I don't want to use this brush because I just cleaned it. Alright, I'm going to take this one. <laughs> This is by the Vintage Cosmetics Company. It's their step one brush. I don't know. Um, and I'm just going to go over and pat all of that over. Or like pat it in and see if it doesn't kind of make it more opaque. Is it like it's just taking away the coverage. Okay. Now it's just completely blotchy and not cute. So I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to go in with the liquid cat suit on the other side. And this is in the shade Cashmere Love. And I'm going to see, because now I'm like second guessing myself. I don't remember how these perform. So like maybe it's the same exact thing and I'm like being really picky. No, I just feel like these look better. Like I just feel like that like looks, um, like comparing the two. I hope it's showing up. But like this one looks really spotty. I feel like this one looks a little bit more. Like, it, it's more full coverage, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of holes here. You can see your eyelid. Okay, so I'm going to take the gold one off. All right, so the good news is that that was pretty easy to get off. There are a couple flecks of color still on my eye, but also I'm just, like, I'm not, I don't care. You know what I mean? This is really pretty. All right, and I'm going to take this brush again and just go on the corners and kind of just make sure everything looks okay. And maybe I'll just pop a little bit of this highlighter, maybe. I don't know. Like, on the top of my eye. It okay, I lied. I'm putting it on my face because I'm nervous it's not, like, eye safe. Oh, my gosh. That's really pretty. Like, I'll never wear that, though. I think this kind of, that, that jelly might have outperformed the, the drops, but I also did go over it with blush and stuff, so it kind of muted it down. That's really pretty. I'm going to zoom you back out. I forgot to do concealer. I'm going to try this real quick. So I have these samples of the Anastasia Brow Pomade, and I know it's not technically a liquid, but like, I don't have any liquid eyebrow products so I'm gonna try this out um so I have the shades medium brown chocolate dark brown and auburn and I wear the shade chocolate in my brow whiz so I'm probably gonna try that shade I'm gonna use this Sedona lace EB17 brush 
Um, it's like a brow brush. Ooh, I'm excited. I've never tried this before. Um, I'm gonna brush through my brows first. Probably should start underneath, right? How do people use this? Oh my god. How do you like brush it in without getting it everywhere? This is so dark. Is this chocolate? I feel like when I use the brow wiz, my eyes, my, oh my god, this is horrible. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let me try medium brown, which honestly looks darker than chocolate. Is that? Yeah. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Auburn. I'm just going to open all of them because, I mean, I've had it for so long. It's not like I'm keeping it for anything. I wonder if, yeah, dark brown looks darker too. All right. I'm panicking. I'm going to go in with Auburn a little bit and just maybe try and like lighten some stuff up okay these are awful I'm gonna take all this off this is horrible I'm gonna try just Auburn and see if I'm gonna go in this eye and see if Auburn is better I feel like maybe I just used too much so I feel like this brow doesn't look as bad but it's a little too red. I'm gonna go back in with a little teeny bit of chocolate and just kind of darken it just a little bit. All right, I don't think this brow looks as bad. It's definitely like, it's a little dark, but my hair is really dark, so what is next? Um, mascara. I'm actually gonna use the e.l.f. and Jake Hissa collaboration just cause I'm feeling a little Frisky. I don't know that this color is really the best right now, but we're going to do it. So this is in the shade brown. Have you guys tried this yet? Like, have you tried her collaboration? I haven't really watched any videos except for like her talking about it, which um, is all oh, is biased. I mean, there's there's no way around it. Um, but I haven't watched like other people's reviews or what people are saying. Such an interesting mascara. Okay. We did mascara. We did highlight. We did brows. What else are we missing? Lips. Lips is the last thing. Really? Okay. I'm going to go in with this Pixie uh, Matte Beige Lipstick. It's their... Um, Everlasting, their matte last li liquid lip is what it's called. I love this color. So, overall, I like using liquid products. My issue is my foundation. So, like, I still, I still feel tacky. Even though I used a mattifying liquid foundation. Um, I mean, I used a luminizing primer. And just, like, not setting it bothers me. Now, however... My skin looks really, really good. Um, the like I wear glasses too, so that's the other issue is I need to set my makeup because my glasses will take off every product on my nose, and then it'll be really uneven. How I, I just really like how my skin is looking. I like glowy skin, like glowy makeup. I just can't wear it because of my skin type. Um, but I'm loving, like I have not tried this ink credible before and I'm just, I'm kind of feeling the purple. I don't know. I'm liking my eyes. I have used those products before. I like the mascara. The brows need a little bit of work, but that's like a user problem, not a product problem, I think. Um, I've never used it before, but now that like it's not as harsh, I'm kind of liking how sharp this front looks. I don't know. But what do you think? Um, do you set your foundation? Because I think that's like the main, like the main thing missing here is like I didn't set my foundation. It's not like a groundbreaking revelation of these products. It's just that like I didn't set my, I didn't set my foundation. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you lasted this long. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.